Nothing official uh, will happen yet. Uh, the family themselves, Stephen Gately's family, haven't uh, issued a complaint themselves. Uh, presumably they have got much more important things to worry about at the moment. They have, as you say, issued a brief statement to us through a close friend of theirs, and they say that the timing and content is insensitive and disappointing. We understand that they haven't actually read the article at the moment. Uh, I would imagine they wouldn't really want to. I think from the uh, headline alone, it was pretty clear what Jan Moyer was, uh, was going to go on to say. The, uh, the headline that appeared in the print edition of the newspaper on Friday was a strange, lonely and troubling death. But the online version of the article, which I think obviously got a much wider reading, uh, was initially headlined why there was nothing natural about Stephen Gately's death. Now already uh, there appear to be inaccuracies in that because as we know from the coroner uh, in Mallorca, last Wednesday, uh, he concluded that Stephen Gately did die of natural causes. So the headline alone, which I have to say, that online headline was eventually changed, uh, that itself was inaccurate. But if I read you a couple of other things that the article that Jan Moyer said in her article, she said, healthy, fit, 33-year-old men do not just climb into their pyjamas and go to sleep on the sofa, never to wake up again. Whatever the cause of this death is, it is not by any yardstick a natural one. Now, I think anyone knows that uh, young people can just die and as we know he did die of a uh, what's described as a pul pulmonary edema uh, that the most likely cause of that is heart failure and at the moment there's nothing else to suggest that that anything else happened she goes on in the article to uh, uh, allude to certain homophobic things C certainly some people would describe it as homophobic I think this is a really nasty article it's uh, it, the, the link that she manages to draw between uh, Kevin McGee and, and Matt Lucas and this is so disgusting uh, she should be ashamed of herself it's a horrible article it's a nasty article I don't know if it breaks any laws I think it's interesting that the mail changed the heading when it was first published in mm -hmm. the first edition it was why there was nothing natural about Stephen Gately's mm -hmm. death which they then changed to a strange lonely and troubling death, having then had a coroner say that it was a totally natural death, so is she now saying she's a coroner as well as everything else? I, I, I don't know whether it was, it's illegal or it breaks the law, but it, it's, it's a nasty it little would, it piece. Would be, it would be... It says more about the paper and the fact that the paper would allow this to be, to be published and, and, and where it's trying to drive its readership and it buys into the sort of ideas of people that would maybe buy this newspaper and be tutting. So I, I, I think Jan Moyer probably, when she says she's not homophobic, she probably thinks she isn't. She doesn't quite understand what a long journey she's had to go on to connect Stephen Gately with, with Kevin McGee. Yeah. I mean, I was reading on thinking, what, what next to it? Then there was Nigel Hall, well, Thorne, you know, he yeah. died. Kenny Everett, I mean, you know, How it's many awful. more of them have to die before we ban it? Um, <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, <laughs> I think what the male... That actually made me squirm, because they are Do you know what I mean? One has nothing I mean, to do with the other. Oh. For God's sake, one man was suffering from depression, tragically killed himself. The other one had a pulmonary edema and brought on by a heart problem. I mean, she doesn't understand how making that connection in her head is homophobic. She thinks it isn't. What makes it homophobic is that she says, you know, just before making this bizarre connection with Paul Kevin McGee. Which is McGee, wrong. I quite she, agree. She's another real sadness. She's very sad about this. I mean, she's dabbing away the tears. She can barely see her computer screen, you know, for the flowing tears. <laughs> real sadness about Gately's death. Is it, it strikes another blow to the happy yeah. ever after myth of civil partnerships. I think now, she fact, also... These people who argue for civil partnerships, they say it makes you immortal. That's what they argued. You know, gay activists are always calling for tolerance and understanding, you know, about same-sex relationships, arguing they're just the same as heterosexual marriages. Not everyone, they say, is like George Michael. I mean, she's managing to <laughs> bigger than that. <laughs> everyone but is. This is the thing. I, I don't think many people who argued for civil partnerships said that it would protect you against heart no. attacks. I don't, I don't think they made that claim. And the or, <laughs> or infidelity, to that okay, okay. Uh, I'm saying Jan Moy's article could, could equally have been castigating no, no, Ernie no, Keating. No, 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 let's get to I don't think it's coroner, exclusive. The coroner is the person who deals in facts, legally established and, facts. And she got and it the wrong. Coroner said, well, <laughs> it's quite she got, to get it wrong. It's I didn't, real, I didn't realize wrong, actually. I didn't realize that this is written after his yeah, verdict. Yeah, yeah, the coroner came through on Tuesday. Well, she, she would have submitted her article on Thursday for publication well, on Friday. No, no, but what she's saying, let's be clear about what it is that she's actually saying. I don't think she's speculating on the forensic science behind his death. She's saying whatever it was that killed him, because it happened, in a context where he'd been to a gay nightclub and when it was in his house with a husband and another man, she feels that the circumstances are unnatural. That's staggering. Right. The word unnatural has not been used in the context of homosexuality in a newspaper for a tremendously long time. And in a way, I salute her for having such incredibly old-fashioned prejudices. But she wasn't <laughs> talking about the way that he died. She was saying because that was his lifestyle, that is what she sees as unnatural. Right, okay. I think that is a revolting thing to think, but if she thinks it, put it in the paper and let okay. us say what we okay. think back. Okay.